Hello everyone and welcome to the WCG for the final match of Group B. It's match 10 of the 2021 Australia Day T20 Big Bash, which sees last year's quarter final of 60 Grit looking to emulate last year's performance as they take on the Puffin Billies for a spot in the final eight. Both of these sides suffering opening match defeats to the defending and two-time champions, Nice Gary. So this one is a straight shootout for second spot. And as you see on your screens, it is the defending champions who are sitting pretty at the top of Group B, and that is where they will remain, with both 60 Grit and the Puff and Billies on zero points. So a win for either side in this fixture will book their place in the quarterfinals. Captains are in the middle, ready for the toss. Oh, yeah. Shake hands, captains. So Puff and Billy skipper Joseph Airy wins a toss and he elects to send 60 grit into bat. And as we take a look at the Puff and Billy's lineup, they came oh so close to knocking off the defending champions in their opening contest, suffering a free run defeat in match six. However, a pretty decent all round performance from the lineup should give them plenty of confidence heading into this do or die contest. If they are able to knock off the men in purple in this fixture, it'll be their first ever win at the Australia Day T20 Big Bash and will book their spot in the quarterfinals. As we take a look at the 60 grit lineup now, it was a pretty ordinary performance against the defending champions, it has to be said, as they were hammered by three wickets at the hands of the men in blue in match two. And given the performance that the Puff and Billies were able to muster against the defending champions in their clash, you would think that it's gonna to have to be a drastically improved performance from the men in purple if they're gonna compete in this one. Just before we get underway, we'd like to thank our major partners for this year's tournament, Campbelltown Motor Auctions, who have jumped on board this season, and we thank them for their generosity, and our ever-reliable and long-standing partners, Harley Cranes Group. Win and you are through, lose and you are out. We're ready to go here in a crunch match 10. And it's going to be the 60 grit skipper, Mark Pasterfield, who will get this innings underway. Could only manage one run in his side's disappointing showing against the defending champions. Can he stand up for his side when they need him the most? So the remaining quarter final spot from Group B up for grabs. It'll be Nathan Maslow who will bowl the first over of the innings. Here he's in now over the wicket. He begins with a beautiful delivery outside the off stump. And Pasterfield leaves it alone first up. So a good start there for the Billies. Maslow on the money from ball one. Maslow to continue to Pasterfield in the opening over. Here he's in now, this one's another back of a length delivery and Pasterfield plays this on the leg side, but he can't beat Azza there at mid-wicket. So two dots to begin with here for the Billies. As Maslow is in once again to Pasterfield, and this one's another good length delivery, which hits Pasterfield on the body. And the 60 grit skipper will move through for a leg by to get his side underway in this contest. Runs have been the issue for 60 grit over the past couple of tournaments. Dismissed for six in last year's quarter final, and eight in their opening contest in this year's edition. So runs are scarce at the moment. Here is Maslow, continues here to Pasterfield, who pads up, but there's no real appeal here from the Puff and Billies. I think this one is probably pitched outside leg on first viewing. Here as we have a look, oh, it's sliding down leg anyway. Here is Nathan Maslow is in for the final delivery of the opening over. In now, and it's another good length delivery, and it's a swing and a miss from the 60 grit skipper. So a brilliant over to start with for Nathan Maslow and the Puff and Billies. 60 grit naught for one after one. It'll be Joseph Azar to bowl the second over of the innings. It's in now around the wicket here to Passfield. This one goes through to the auto wiki. Oh, I think this must have just come off his hip because there is no appeal here from the Puff and Billies whatsoever. Though it's yet another dot here for 60 grit. They've managed just a solitary leg by after six deliveries. Here's Azar is in once again to Passfield. And it's a swing and a miss there from Pasterfield. And that must have narrowly missed the leg stump. It's another dot and more pressure for 60 grit. As the skipper survives with the skin of his teeth. Azar to continue to Pasterfield in the second over. Who's in now around the wicket. It's another full delivery. And this time he knocks over the 60 grit skipper. So that's the first wicket down as Pasterfield goes for a duck. The pressure finally tells us Azar picks up the wicket. Men in purple one for one. 60 Grit having troubles with the bat in this tournament once again. As that wicket now brings Chris Mendham to the crease. Was dismissed for a golden duck in his side's opening match defeat. Can he stand up in this one? It'll be 
Azar who's just picked up his second wicket of the tournament to continue to mend him in the second over. Here he's in now, this one's a full toss and he dabs this on the leg side and he'll move through for a single as Nathan Mazzo looked like he was ready to take aim but misfired and that's the first run off the bat for 60 grit. Azar to go back over the wicket for the final delivery of the over. Here he's in now, two men, it's a full delivery and it's a wild swipe across the line from Mendham to end with. So another brilliant over there from the Puffin Billies. They're in complete control of this one. 60 grit, one for two. So the men in purple have got plenty of work to do once again in this contest. They've managed just two runs off the opening, 10 deliveries. As runs are proving a scarcity once again for 60 grit. We now need boundaries and need them fast. So it's going to be Nathan Maslow to bowl the third over of the innings. As he's in there over the here to Mendham. And it's a full toss that strikes Mendham on the leg. And he's going to move through for a leg bye. So Mendham clearly disappointed with himself there. That was a boundary opportunity gone begging. 60 grit, one for three in the third over. As Maslow will continue to Mendham over the wicket. Here he's in there and it's another full fast delivery. And this one strikes Mendham on the leg again. However, this one flies through towards the auto wiki. So it's another dot ball there for 60 grit as the pressure mounts. As Maslow will continue to mend him over the wicket. And this one's a full wide delivery and it has been called a wide by the umpire on this occasion. As we have a look on the replay, this was full and wide. Oh, it lands off the pitch. So an uncharacteristically errant ball there from Maslow. As he'll continue again now to mend him. And he's in now. This one's a full fast delivery. And it knocks over the castle of Mendham. So it goes from bad to worse here for 60 Grit, who slide further into the doldrums. It's two for four in the third over. And the Puff and Billies are tightening their grip on a place in the last day. So the men in purple, two for four in the third over. As that wicket now brings Clinton Cowan to the crease. And he has an almighty job ahead of him if he's going to rescue his side in this one. So it'll be Nathan Maslow looking to finish this off as he'll bowl now to Clinton Cowan. Here he's in now, it's a full delivery. Oh, and this one must have narrowly missed the off stump. Nathan Maslow cannot believe it. Here's we take a look at the replay. Oh, that can't have been far away. Maslow in for the final delivery of the third over. Here he's in now, it's another full delivery. And has he done it this time? No, he hasn't, it's narrowly missed the off stump again. Well, that's unlucky there for Maslow. But he's bowled fantastically. So we arrive at the final over of the innings. 60 grit, two for four. As it's the skipper, Joseph Berry, who will bowl to Clinton Cowan. And he begins with a full toss. And it's played onto the fence there by Cowan as he moves through for a single. Yeah, so desperate times for 60 grit. Two for five with four deliveries remaining in the innings. Can Cowan get a few away to the boundary here? As Severi will continue around the wicket to him now. And it's a beautiful full delivery right in the block hole. But Cowan manages to get some bat on it and will move through for a single. It doesn't appear enough here for 60 grit, who need boundaries. Severi to continue to Cowan in the final over. Here he's in now, this one's a full toss, it's played onto the fence, and that very nearly went over, but it hits the top of the fence and falls safely. So it's another single there for Cowan. Here 60 grit just cannot buy a boundary here at the moment, as we arrive at the penultimate delivery of the innings. Here Severi will continue around the wicket, here he's in now, it's another full delivery and it's hit towards Maslow who has a shot at the stumps and he misses from point blank range while well, a direct hit and Cowan was gone. Maslow turns and throws, oh how's he missed? So we arrive at the final delivery of the innings, 60 grit, 2 for 8 and that's exactly how it's going to stay as it's a swing and a miss to end with there from Cowan. It's another dismal effort with the bat for the men in purple. And it's nine to win for the Puffin Billies. So for the third straight time in this competition, 60 Grit have failed to post a score in double figures as they have been reduced to two for eight after their 20 deliveries. And it's gonna take an almighty effort if they're gonna get themselves out of this one. It was a fantastic effort with the ball from the Puffin Billies who now have a maiden place in the quarterfinals within sight. Nine to get. So it's going to be Joseph Azar who will get this run chase underway for the Puffin Billies. Was dismissed for five in the run chase against Nice Gary in their opening contest. Can he guide his side to the quarterfinals here? So it's nine to get for the Puffin Billies. A miracle required for the grit. And it's going to be Mark Passfield by the first over of the innings. 
As he's in now and he begins with a full delivery but it slides down the leg side and that'll be quarter wide to start with. So not the start they were looking for with the ball as the deficit gets closer. Has to feel to continue to Azza in the opening over. Here's in now, this one's a better delivery, bang on the money. And it strikes Azza on the groin and he opts against taking a leg by. So in no rush here is the Puff and Billy's opener. They know that just a win will see them qualify for the quarterfinals. As Pastorfield continues again now to Azza. And this one he tucks off his leg, does he? Nah, it looks like it's just come off his leg for a leg by. But he'll move through for it anyway. So that's another one chalked off the remaining tally. Just seven to get now for the Puff and Billies for a maiden quarterfinal berth. Here's Pastorfield will go around the wicket now to Azza. Here he's in now, this one's a back of a leg delivery and Azza has a slash outside the off stump and he's nicked it through to the keeper. Well, is there hope for the 60 grit? An early wicket is exactly what they needed. Azar goes for a duck as he nicks through to the keeper. The Puff and Billy's one for two after one. And is there hope for the men in purple after all? So the Puff and Billy's in early trouble here in the run chase. As that wicket will now bring the skipper, Joseph Airy, to the crease. He managed seven in their opening match defeat to the defending champions. And that's exactly what they need for victory here. So it's going to be Chris Mendham who will bowl around the wicket for the second over of the innings. As he's in now to Severi, and it's a wide delivery outside the off stump. And it's a slash and a miss there from Severi. But it's inside the line, so it's not called a wide. So a dot to begin with there from Mendham. A wicket here will make things very interesting indeed. As Mendham will continue around the wicket here to Severi. And this one's a full toss played back towards Mendham, who fields off his own bowling. So two dots to begin the over here for the 60 grit. Can they just build up a bit of anxiety here on Severi? Here's Mendham is in once again to the Puff and Billy skipper. And this one's a full delivery, bang on the money. And it's played on the leg side, but doesn't beat Mark Pasterfield. So good this from the grit who are not rolling over here. As Mendham is in for the penultimate delivery of the over. Here he's in now, he serves up a full toss. Oh, and that's unfortunate as Severi hammers it down the ground for a boundary. They're nearly there, the Puff and Billies. The pressure was built up, but it's just been released. Three to get for the Puff and Billies. As Mendham is in for the final delivery of the over. This one's a full toss, clipped off his legs, and it runs into the boundary. The Puff and Billies have done it. They qualify for the quarterfinals. They have hammered 60 grit here in match 10. As the skipper, Joseph Airy, guides his side home and guides the Puff and Billies to a maiden quarterfinal berth. So the Puff and Billies registered their first ever win at the Australia Day T20 Big Bash. And they acquire a bonus point in the process as they have hammered 60 grit by two wickets to seal second spot in Group B and book a ticket to the quarterfinals for the first time ever. Nathan Maslow was brilliant with the ball. Severi doing the business with the bat at the end as 60 Grit's dismal campaign in this tournament comes to an end. So as we take a look at the final standings here in Group B, it is the defending champions who will go through in top spot as they finish on five points. The Puff and Billy's finish on three points after this bonus point win and their prize will be a quarter final against two inches short of a length. And it's the men in purple 60 Grit who finish bottom of the pile without a point. So as we look ahead to the next match of the tournament, it is another winner-takes-all clash to round out Group C. It is the Nifnuffs and the WCG Babes who will battle it out for second spot in what has been dubbed the Pink Stink. And after the Babes' performance in their last outing against the group winners, write them off at your peril. Another crunch match coming up.